Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries July 2, 2022. The desire for more comfort or security continues today. However, there can be a lot that competes with your time. Transits now stir your desire to make more or to be more comfortable, and ideas to do so can be easier to come by. You can quite effectively work on or revive old projects that are likely to have long-term appeal and profitability. The moon moves into your creativity sector later today, bringing out your inner artist and your desires to show and share your affection. Today may be somewhat of an introspective day, but you can at least begin to understand the reason you don't feel totally at ease in the company of someone fairly close to you. It will be better to spend this time alone so that you can really get in touch with how you feel about this. There are many twists and turns that may not be obvious to you at first. How can you better convey your frustrations? Like anyone else, you may have moments where aspects of your job grind your gears. But you do need to watch how you respond to these annoyances when the emotional moon in Cancer squares Mars in your sign. It could be cathartic to blow up at an aggravating co-worker or lose your cool in a meeting. However, having an inappropriate display of anger could make your job harder. Instead of popping off during the square, use your intense emotions to actively restore peace through conflict resolution. Take extra precautions to get all the facts before making any important financial decisions. Today's aspects can cause a person to be more trusting than is safe, making you easier to fleece than normal. Don't be too proud to get a second opinion or to ask someone whose opinion you trust for their advice if you're even a little bit unsure about something. Let the snake-like salesman move on to their next victim. Personal relationships don't always run according to plan. Turbulent situations crop up again and again, requiring all your energy. Smaller arguments and conflicts seem to be pre-programmed. Keep calm and deal with this turmoil in a relaxed fashion. Feeling less than perfectly fit? Don't let that drag you down into a funk. You just need a plan. Forget those delusions of marathon workouts instead, start small. Find a buddy to make it fun. If you feel your romantic life needs re-evaluating, make an assessment of your personal life and understand what is positive, unique and desirable about you, also what you want and why from a relationship. In this way you can create a sure and positive impression when you first meet others that they can respect. You really have been letting yourself go lately, and now it's time to take care of yourself. This new initiative of yours will make you feel happier, and ready to tackle life again. You may be hesitating over whether or not you should try some of the less traditional kinds of medicine that everyone has been talking about. But this is only a small dilemma when you realize that you have finally decided to live a healthier lifestyle. A strong sense of intrigue might get the better of you on this day. This essence can foster an interest for adventure and excitement like no other. Just be cautious. In your pursuit of such things, exercise sound safety measures. As an active personality, you have to guard against rushing into something head first, and with the influence of this vibration, this is even more the case. Think first and then go for it. As the saying goes, it's better to be safe than sorry. Earlier in the week, it was during the moon's final hours in your communication sector that it formed a friendly aspect to Saturn, for the first time since his retrograde turn in your friendship sector. Today, instead of the moon it is Mercury, the planet of communication who forms the same aspect, something that is giving him something to channel his final days in your communication sector into. The next few days offer a chance to reconnect and even make up for lost time. Just 18 days before the first planetary activity in your romantic sector for the year begins, today's romantically charged lunar vibes are both a taste of things to come and a chance to take matters of the heart a little more seriously. This comes just as Venus, the planet of love is on a mission to give your heart a voice. Our eyes in the sky. Investing money today can reap big returns and dividends. It's also a great day to connect with those you haven't spoken to in quite some time. If you're single, pay attention to the people you meet or engage with today. They could play an important role in your future. 
Embrace the positivity and good vibes. Today is a pleasant day, which is a nice change from all the cosmic chaos of last week. There's some powerful energy fueling your ambition and driving you to get a lot done today, but power struggles are unavoidable during the difficult Moon, Mars, and Pluto Cardinal T-square. If you can feel the tension building between you and someone else who also wants the leadership role you're intent on playing, it's going to come to a head at some point. And when it all blows up in your face, it's not going to be pretty. You might want to have an alternate plan ready in case your authority is successfully challenged. After a brief void of course period, the moon enters playful Leo, helping diffuse some of the more difficult cosmic energy from earlier. Luckily, you should be able to forget about some of the day's tenser moments as you play with your kids or go out dancing with friends. Being the center of attention is your main goal now and whether it's adoring affection from a lover or all eyes on you on the dance floor, you're happy to soak up the happiness that being in the spotlight offers you now. Regardless, we will confront psychological material at this time, and we are offered protection to this end so we might understand our inner workings and unconscious motivations without getting overwhelmed. Following this connection, the moon falls into a void lasting into the early evening, Use this time for reflection. We might think we are living in the here and now, but how much of our personality and identity hinges on nostalgia? Are our thoughts of what it means to be productive, tech-savvy, or eco-conscious actually rather inefficient and outdated? Under this influence we believe that it is our purpose, our mission, to help others modernize their lifestyles by encouraging them to think outside the box. There is freedom in liberating ourselves from old conditioning, and thankfully, others see our message as revolutionary and exciting, rather than disruptive. In the morning, the Cancer Moon trines Neptune in Pisces, stimulating our creative impulses. Ultimately, we get more from rest than from exertion now. When we allow ourselves to relax, we gain the ability to tune into serendipity and thereby develop greater trust in our intuition. We can use this influence to practice divination techniques, such as reading tea leaves, tarot, or scrying. Looking to our astrological charts can also be revelatory, not because we are seeking answers, but because we are open to receiving insights from the universe. Late in the morning, the moon squares off with Mars and Aries, provoking tension. Our emotional needs and desires conflict at this time, creating an internal battle of wills. We risk taking our frustrations out on anyone who happens to get in our way. Obviously, this is a poor use of our energy, which can be much better applied to self-examination. Otherwise, we can get our angst out through physical activity, but should avoid competitive sports as we could accidentally injure ourselves or another when we are simply attempting to face a challenge courageously.